my wish list for 2023. Please, guys, stay with me. Hi, guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so very much for clicking on this video. My name is Oksana and today I'm going to start year 2023 with my wish list. I'm a bit sick, so I have my cup of hot coffee and it says Benidorm over here because I'm still in Spain. I'm going to have one more vlog from Spain. It's not one of the my most viewed videos in fact it's one of the worst my viewed videos and i don't blame anybody for that because there is a zillion of other really great performers on the youtube that shows travel in the best possible way but i was just um, and i'm still sharing my story the reason why i came to spain etc so I have one more vlog, most likely, that I'm going to show my last vlog in Spain. And then I have my trip to Paris. And today I want to talk about my wish list for 2023. It's not going to be as big. In fact, my wish list of 2022 was also a very, very realistic wish list. I didn't even put much of the handbags except for the um, almost Hermes and quite opposite. I didn't get any of the Hermes handbag uh, except for Lindy. I mean, in year 2022, I didn't get a single quarter bag offer, um, which is sad and upsetting, but that's totally different story. Anyway, time for Hermes will come, but I want to... Um, share with you my wish list for 2023 and the first and most i want to say one of the bestest decision i did this year it's actually coming to spain and if you watch some of my other years wish list i think it was for year 2020 or maybe 2021 i always saying that i want to travel more i want to see europe and i always saying that i want to visit paris etc spain was never on top of my wish list but but something happened in my life that I decided to come to Spain and I'm so glad that I did. And the reason for that, that I'm glad that I did, it's because I'm pretty much sure unless something really drastic gonna happen in my life, I definitely wanna come back next year once again for winter in Spain because I truly enjoy my time. So one of the wish for the year 2023 is just coming to Spain for the next winter kind of trying to be a snowbird, Canadian snowbird, but instead of going to Florida, coming to Spain because I truly enjoy my time. I also start learning Spanish language little by little and another wish list, trying to improve my Spanish language as much as possible for the next years that I'm going to be more fluent um, if I will come back to Spain again. So this is kind of like, you know, general improvement wish list for 2023 so now let's start with uh, some items that i want to add to my collection and um, number one i want to add to my collection it's uh, new sunglasses i'm very very specific about my sunglasses because they have to look stylish but i also cannot tolerate any sunglasses that don't sit right on my face or they feel uncomfortable on my face etc if they're heavy on my bridge um, or if they're pretty much sitting on my cheeks and I mean I have quite high bridge and I cannot imagine how with such a high bridge the sunglasses could still sit on my cheeks like it's beyond me whoever is designing those sunglasses I don't know have they ever tried those sunglasses how they sit on the face or maybe I have some kind of weird face I have no idea but anyway I'm very, very specific about the sunglasses and there is two of them that kind of catching my attention right now I love the elements of the funk or kind of almost like a rocker style and the first one is Prada and I'm gonna put on the on the screen over here the picture 
absolutely love those sunglasses but i have to try go to boutique and try and see how they fit but when i look at the model on the internet i absolutely love it i think they are such a i don't know there is a classy look to these sunglasses also there is a funky look to these sunglasses which is i totally believe it's totally my personality i believe that i kind of have this clashing personality of funky and uh, classy always in me and you know one day i have classy side kind of tilting over the other day i want to be totally funky and those sunglasses they kind of like perfect 50 50 match at least for me there is another one there from valentino and i also love that element uh, of um, unexpected shape of the sunglasses and also on my face when there is very very large frame sunglasses they don't really look good on me at least I tried several times. I pretty much look like a dragonfly. Not my vibe. Totally not my vibe. But this one, I think, I think they they will look good on me and i actually love them in both colors there is a gray and there is a kind of purplish burgundy color especially if i could get burgundy handbag that's going to be such a combo um but i have to try i have to try and see how they look on me that's for sure that's for sure so this is um, kind of two on top of my list adding new sunglasses to my collections that comfortable on my face um i'm kind of torn between you know if i should add something from louis vuitton because you know obviously i'm traveling to paris and if i'm going to be in one of the louis vuitton stores in paris especially if it's going to be flagship store i almost feel that i have to add to my collection something to commemorate that first visit to paris um i should I, I don't know. I'm really torn. I'm really torn. I'm toying with the idea of few handbags. It's either twist or maybe some other handbag. I, I have to see. I have to see. I have to try just to make sure that, you know, I actually want to add something from Louis Vuitton. At this moment, I'm not really sure. It's so sad to admit, but I'm not really sure. But I definitely gonna visit uh, Louis Vuitton, and if something that you know gonna speak to my heart and gonna make my heart sing, I will definitely add one of the idea. It's maybe Speedy Twenty. As I said, the other idea is maybe um, Twist, especially in PM size, not mini, but PM size. Because previously PM size has kind of like weird. Um, on top shapes kind of limiting access if i'm gonna have picture of the old style of the pm i'm gonna include it looks like in the new pm size or at least maybe in some limited edition they remove those top i don't know restricting flaps um so then the pm going to be um potential contester for the getting something from louis vuitton um chanel um with chanel right now um i get i'm i gonna almost sound like a broken record about the burgundy color i'm hoping first and most once again to visit the most famous store in paris sitting on those beautiful um you know uh, steps maybe even taking some pictures getting those white colors uh, shopping uh bags so anyway, I'm hoping to get something in caviar and in burgundy color or maybe something that I like, maybe even something that could be um, a seasonal handbag. But if it speaks to my heart, if it's uh, something that I truly see myself wearing for many years to come, then why not? It could be a seasonal handbag because I have seasonal handbag in my collection and I absolutely love it. One of the best decisions that I did and I really wear it a lot versus say I have my classic flop and I wear it really seldom. So um, something in burgundy color maybe or maybe in a white color uh, from Chanel. I don't think I'm gonna add anything in black because I have lots of black handbags already but you never know you never know I definitely want to get something from Chanel I don't know maybe it could be 
I don't know, even shoes, pair of shoes or something. So talking about the pair of shoes, I'm thinking I did some research and it looks like in January it's going to be a major sales also in Paris and I'm hoping to get something on sale. And when it comes to Chanel, I'm hoping to get maybe some ready to wear. I don't know, some kind of jacket or something. Uh, maybe some even an additional custom jewelry, etc. Um, maybe some scarves, some shoes. If it's possible, I definitely want to try to get something on sale from Chanel. It's on my top list if I could get something on sale from Chanel. And then definitely I'm going to try some other fashion houses maybe Hermes but Hermes they never really sell it in the boutique directly so I have to dig some more information if there is any possibilities of getting something from Hermes on sale Louis Vuitton we know they never go officially on sale but I will check some other um, houses you never know maybe Prada um, maybe Christian Dior you know a couple of sweat um, hoodies from Christian Dior I really love them and I think they look very very classy so I mean this could be very very long list but what i'm trying to say i'm trying to get something from sale um during my visit to paris if it's going to be possible and now we finally get into the you know elephant in this room and it's hermes and um, i guess i have to put my hat on i have my hermes beret that i purchased in my local boutique the local boutique that didn't really appreciate me this year, you know, but anyway, not much you can do in the life. I hope it's sitting well. I don't even have a mirror. Hope it's sitting well. Just give me one second. So I hope it should work. I hope. So anyway, I have my Hermes hat on and this is the wish list for Hermes. Believe it or not, I even have the the album for the Hermes, the wish list for the Hermes during my uh, travel. So first, I hope to get some kind of white sneakers and it should be just the plain white sneakers. I'm not even sure that I want to get with the Kelly buckle because it makes them a little bit more dressy or I would say even more difficult to put them on and off because you have to all the time unbuckle. But there is this one, uh, deep sneakers. I don't know if they're even available any longer because they are clearly one of the seasonal ones that they're completely white. There is uh, another options of the new one. I think they call it Get or Jet. Um, they kind of grayish whitish, which is should be also okay for the summer. There is another option. It's a bouncing sneakers, but they kind of with the burgundy orangey uh, theme on the soles of the shoe, but otherwise they're white. Th this one could be possibility, but I mean the theme you can see it's a white uh, sneakers. So that is the options. One of the options I totally forgot. I'm gonna throw it also over here. It's a Prada white sneakers. I really love Prada white sneakers. It could be potential if I could get specially them on sale. That would be really nice. The other um, white things for the summer. I'm looking at these sandals. They call it um, device or device. Um, not sure so this is the one I think it's once again one of the seasonal not very popular because mostly people going for um, their more classy uh, version of orange sandals but orange sandals they never really work out for me I tried several times um, anyway maybe I should try sometime buy one of the orange sandals and see if I can break them but this one feels like they're going to be more comfortable that I don't have to constantly grip with my um, toes at the front that what's happening with orange sandals all the time there is a potential for this one and I think they are absolutely plain and classy for summer. So you can see the theme to get something white, white shoes for um, summer because the last uh, year I got myself a Paris um, loafers in white color and I use them all the time. I love them, love them, love them. So something white to add to my collection. 
then there is another um, options of uh, black sneakers and from the black sneakers i'm once again looking at the options of bouncing sneakers maybe to add to my collection then there is also this uh, seasonal sandals i don't know if they're still going to be available at the paris they call them avenue sandals and you can see they're also higher in the uh, in step so it's easier to walk in this kind of sandals and they have beautiful Kelly buckle. Uh, I absolutely love them. I remember when also I saw them in the local boutique, I was kind of toying with the idea, but they're way, way more um, higher in price comparing to Orange. So I didn't buy it at that time, but let's see if I will still be able to get them at Paris. Another option to get another bread, like I really love this kind of look and I mean this is totally my vibe. So I really love this bread and I noticed that they have options in grey color and this bread it's called Saint Honoré uh, bread and I want to add in uh, gray color if it's possible so or maybe some kind of even simple black but i think gray would be really nice so this is the um, another possibility for me then i'm thinking of two possibilities of the sneakers for my husband there is this deep sneakers which is completely black very very classy just a little bit touch of kind of orangey brownish i'm assuming it's orange color uh sorry um or maybe it's a gold maybe it's actually gold color so anyway um these sneakers uh deep sneakers possibility for my husband and another options once again in black bouncing sneakers so this is two options as a gift uh for my husband then there is my B, my B, uh, some kind of scarf option for my husband. I keep this option open um, as a birthday gift for my husband. We shall see. But this is two options, either sneakers or scarf or maybe both of them. So this is what I'm planning to get uh, during my visit to Paris. And we shall see. Keeping fingers crossed, if I gonna get um, a leather appointment and there is any possibility of that, hoping um, we shall see my wish list for the handbag. Um, though, you know, I'm looking at so many videos right now and many people have such a negative um, experience that they say you actually get the appointment and then they offer you garden party. Uh, just a second. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> I'm still a bit uh, sick. So anyway, um, as I said, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I'm trying to stay positive for the leather appointment. But what I'm trying to say, if it's not going to happen, I'm still going to enjoy my visit to Paris. Just remember Paris as is. And if the Hermes handbag will happen, a uh, quarter bag, then it will be fantastic. It will be like, you know, like really cherry on top. If it's not going to happen, then, you know, c'est la vie. Anyway we shall see but if it's gonna happen my number one wish and it's kind of almost rolling from year to year i want to get rouge ash color to my collection it's actually very very hard to get color it's classic color for hermes but it's very very hard color to get and also don't fool yourself like you know sometimes people saying that oh they offer orange colors only you know like a constellation colors that actually not true um, orange color from Hermes it's also hard to get because it's not widely um, produced color per se uh, you don't see like so many orange handbags offer left and right mostly it's actually black a tube or some of those um, gold more classiest color but orange is not that much so not that i'm saying that i'm gonna be aiming for the orange but if you're gonna visit in boutique and they go for you orange and you actually love orange color just get it disregard the other like you know some of the negative comments anyway uh, my top wish list is um, rouge ash rouge kelly 25 rouge ash if 
I will get offer in Kelly 28. I will take it once again in um, in a heartbeat because I have already Kelly 28 in my collection and I think it's one of the most practical sizes. Absolutely love it. Zero regrets about Kelly 28. And when sometimes people saying, oh, it's too big, that's not true. Kelly 32, it's uh, not even too big. And I mean, come on, I'm just 5'3". So uh, it's, it's not a big handbag, not even close to being big. Anyway, um, Kelly 25 would be ideal in Rouge Ash. If that option won't be available, then even the burgundy or even like something in the purple theme, like, you know, dark purple, even like an animal, etc. But I mean, in that kind of um, bluish, cold, reddish handbag, like, you know, if you are going to more colder um, theme of the red colors. So, uh, really, really hoping for that. If second options for me going to be um, Constance 24, and it's a Constance 24 re-edition, I guess. It's the one that it's slim with the single gasket. When there is no two-part uh, division, it's just a single one. I think that handbag is absolutely brilliant. And uh, this is actually very, very original Constance. And I think they should have kept it that way. Because the Constance 24 right now that they have, I think I love the size, but I think it's too protruding. It's like too deep. For me, I think it's at least on my body frame. But that re-edition, uh, Constance 24 re-edition, I think it's absolutely, absolutely fantastic. So, and that one, if it would have been offered to me pretty much in any color, I will take it. Um, unless, like, you know, it's going to be some crazy colors that look absolutely ridiculous on me then no otherwise any color i'm open i'm open to neutral i'm open to dark i'm open to bright colors whatever i will take that handbag in a heartbeat so this is pretty much two top list for me um visiting paris um from the handbags so i guess this is pretty much it the the two handbags um two top handbags on my wish list um if it's going to be anything um not a quarter bag i'm not sure i have already my mini lindy i have my della cavalleria absolutely love this handbag in fact i gonna soon post video um, the best travel bag ever and I'm gonna talk about my Delic Valeria and I'm gonna show you exactly how I pack for travel this is the bestest handbag for travel believe it or not um, I'm not sure um, I don't know if it's non quota I don't really even know which one I want maybe garden party in light color for summer otherwise um, I'm not even sure not even sure because non quota bags I pretty much have already everything in my collection that I love but we shall see um, I know everybody loves picotin uh, but I'm not really much fan of picotin handbag but you never know maybe I should see it in person so I guess that's it. That concludes my video of wish list 2023. Please put your comments below what is the number one item on your wish list for 2023. <clears throat> Sorry, um, my throat is killing me right now. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. If you're still watching by this time, thank you so, so very much. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. Kisses and hugs. And I will see you on my next one. Bye-bye.